Good morning and greetings from South Georgia, USA. We are at May the 13th, 2024. Out here feeding the deer. And we hope that we will be able to feed you some of the Word of God. The title of my... Um, the title of my presentation today is the biggest lie that we are told now we're talking about spiritual matters theology religion the biggest lie that we are told is that we can work our way to heaven by our own efforts we are told from the very beginning, as soon as we are able to understand, that we need to be good. Now, maybe some people that are professional criminals might teach their children, you need to be good at not getting caught being criminals. But as I heard one time, years ago, that criminal people, that they don't whip their children for stealing, they whip them for getting caught. I'm not sure that has anything to do with my presentation, but it just jumped out of my mouth. The reason that we cannot work our way to heaven is because we are not good. It was clearly stated by Jesus, there is none good but God. That is the hardest thing for us to understand. And it is also the thing that is keeping us from accepting Jesus. In order for us to accept his free gift of salvation, we first have to understand that we need it. And that there is no other way, no other way to enter the kingdom of heaven. It is the free gift of God. We cannot do anything at all to earn it. We must see ourselves as we really are. That is a fleshly, muscle and bone creature that does not have any innate goodness within itself. That's all there is to it. We are not good. Therefore, we can't do anything to achieve salvation or to enter heaven. All of the religions of the world, as far as I know, except Christianity, teach that you must do certain things to please God. God is not pleased by our good works because we don't have any good works. We just think that we have good works. The reason we think that we have good works is that we try to compare our so-called good works with others. That causes us to be judges of those other people. Less fortunate, maybe people that have gotten into stuff we haven't gotten into, or whatever. It's like the old saying, the pot calling the kettle black.
There is none good. All men have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Nobody does good. In order to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. That is, you must have a new spiritual birth separate from your fleshly birth. The way to do that is ask Jesus, Oh, Jesus, save me. I can't save myself. No matter how many things that I do that appear to be good, whether you give to the poor, whatever it is that you think you're doing that's good, it's not good. Because you're not good. It's like a frog flying. A frog can jump up into the air, but he's going to fall back down. A frog cannot fly. Neither can you be good. You might jump up in the air thinking you're doing something good, but you're going to come back down. All right, that's my presentation. If you would like to learn more about the gospel and the truth of Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, I would suggest that you read it in the New Testament, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Do not read the New Living Bible. Read the New King James or the King James. I'd like to end this with the prayer that Jesus asked us or advised us to say when his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray. And then we'll end it. And the raindrops are coming down, so I'm going to have to cut this short, and that's probably a blessing. That means you won't have to listen to me run my mouth because I've already said the truth as I see it. I could be wrong, but this is the way I see it. And this is what I think the true gospel is. Jesus must save you by causing you to be born again as a new creature. I'd like y'all to say the Lord's Prayer with us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done on earth as, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.